same side cookies for everyone because there's some really good news. What are same side cookies? So the same side attribute was initially introduced about two, two and a half years ago, sort of as a feature not turned on by default. But it basically the idea was to prevent cross-site request forgery, which we talked about. There's a video I posted a while ago that talked about cross-site request forgery. So take a look at that to understand what what cross-site request forgery is. And the same site cookie attribute now allows to control much more fine-grained on when the browser will send cookies, or actually more importantly, when it will not send cookies across site boundaries, so across domains. And as a quick reminder, so what is cross-site request forgery? So you have, let's say, a targeted web server on the right, it's called the mail server, the mail server domain. And then you have a victim, and the victim is somehow tricked to visit an attacker control site. It's, in this case, it's attacker server. And there's a you know, CSRF payload, csrf.html. And that basically performs a post request to the mail server. And you know, in the past, or cross request forgery basically would send the cookie along automatically. Let me do this again. So it sends out the cookie automatically, the server retrieves it, authenticates the user, and the user is compromised, right? So it can perform state changing operations like a post to delete an email in this case. So a typical payload, you know, with a form post that would initiate such a command, you can see here. So this is how an attack usually would look like. And so the same side attribute on a cookie now controls if the browser will send that cookie or not based on the site or the origin that the first party site or the site the user is on actually or was a cookie was set on was set. So what are the options? There are three options. The first one is same site equals none. This is the basically the old behavior where you have zero cross site request forger protection. So cookies will just be freely sent across site and domain boundaries. The second option is same site equals lax. And this, a little simplified, basically will prevent post requests from sending cookies across sites, uh, across site boundaries, but get request will just continue to succeed. So meaning if you click a link to get to another site and so on, all of that, or if you request an image, any kind of get request would just send the cookies along, basically. So it just prevents the post across the domain, which usually across the request for you, right? It's, it's about post because the get should not be changing state. And the third option, the most secure is strict, which means cookies are never sent out of its, the current context of the browser. So they always stay within the site. They are not cross domain or cross site uh, kind of aware. So they will, the browser will not set, send them. And so there's some really good news because there's like a lot of different browsers, right? And I think at this point, all the browsers sort of have moved or the major browsers have moved to actually having lax be the default. So if a developer does not set the HTTP response header, like set cookie and explicitly set same site to something, it will be set to lax, which means everybody gets default protection. And that is actually very good news. So I think for security testing, right, what you really need to look out is, for instance, have you have same site equals none, that somewhere because of a legacy application, things broke and somebody said same site equals none. Those are scenarios to really review. But that's basically it. That's what same site cookies are, a very short introduction. Uh, hit subscribe, like the post, and I'll see you.